Right on folks, John Crane here in the shop and it's winter time and winter time means skiing. Now my son just got a new pair of skis and I tell you the backup at the ski shops to mount these bindings is a mile long. So hey, we got a machine shop and we got an eagerness to learn. So we're gonna mount these bindings right here in the shop. So let's cut the chit chat, get these bindings on so we can get up on the mountain. All right, right on. All right, first step, Teo is putting some masking tape down so we can do some layout on these skis. Here we're finding center with the calipers and we're laying out a center line on the skis. Now we've taken a long straight edge here, connect the dots, and now we have a nice center line for mounting our bindings. Most skis have a marking where the center is on the ski. This one has an arrow, and I'm using that to make a line with a square across the ski. Now this center line will line up with the center line on the bottom of the boot. So we're gonna take the toe binding, and we're also gonna put some tape on the bottom of this toe binding. Now here I'm using some calipers to find the center on the bottom of this binding. I'm just using the tips of the caliper to make a mark, and then I will use a marker to fill in that little mark so it's easier to see. I'm just using a straight edge here and a Sharpie to connect the dots. Now this line is running across the bottom of that binding, and this way we can put this down on the ski and easily locate center. So here we're putting this on the ski. Here we have the center line of the boot. We're gonna insert this into the toe binding and then Teo is going to clamp that binding down to the ski when we get it approximately there. You can see I'm using a little block there to help me line up the center line. That's just a tall block so I can kind of connect the dots from the line on the ski to the line on the boot. Now that block I have on the heel actually is the same height as the binding. So I just wanted to get that on an even plane. You can see we've got this nicely lined up on center. Now I'm going to use this drill bit. It's an 11 64ths drill bit to mark the center of the holes. Now you could use a transfer punch, but this actually worked out better as the holes are countersunk. All right, the toe of the binding also has additional support in this little black piece that slides in and out on the front. So here I'm using some calipers to find center to center on these holes. I'm going from edge to edge on the holes. And this turned out to be one inch, 220 thousandths. So I'm laying this out on the ski and we are actually going to drill these on the Bridgeport milling machine. You can do this with a handheld drill and a drill bit. This is obviously a lot easier on the Bridgeport. We can set the depth with no worries of drilling through the bottom of the ski. You can do this on a drill press as well, but the Bridgeport is deluxe. Don't feel like you have to have this tool to do it. You can do it with a cordless drill, a drill bit, and a stop collar. All right, once the holes are drilled, we're using a little deburring tool just to flare out the tops of the holes so it's easy to set the screws. And now we're setting the screws just as kind of like uh, tapping the holes and test fitting, making sure everything's lining up. See how that clicks in there? All our holes are perfectly aligned. It worked out great. As a form of Loctite, we are using 2P10CA glue. Now, this will lock the screw in place, but it will also prevent water from getting down into the threads. We don't want any swelling of the ski inside there from water. So just a little dab of this, and then we're setting the screws, and there our toe binding is complete and mounted. Now we're just drilling the other ski for the other toe binding. Now we are using a 5 30 seconds drill bit to make these holes. We did some test holes and that seemed to give us a really good purchase on these particular screws. Okay, now onto the heel part of the binding. We are removing the brake to make the installation a little bit easier. 
Now here is the bottom of the mounting plate for the rear of the binding. Again, I'm finding center on the bottom and I'm extending that line up to the top. This is the adjustment screw for the rear of the binding. Now you wanna get the screw start set at the right spot when you insert this onto the binding mounting plate. So now I'm putting this onto the mounting plate and I wanna find the center of the travel. So I insert this onto the plate, I mark the beginning, and then I take a screwdriver, I move it all the way to the rear of the adjustment. I'm gonna put another line Right there, I put the end line, and now I'm finding the center of the travel, and then I will move the binding so it's right in the center. So when we put this on with the boot, we have adjustment forward and we have adjustment backwards. Okay, now with that adjusted to the center of the travel, we can now hook this on to the heel of the boot, put the toe of the boot into our toe binding, and then press this down on the ski. And when I have this nicely aligned on our lines that we have drawn on our masking tape, Teo is here putting a mark. So now we can remove the boot, take off the mounting plate, put this down, and now we can mark the holes. Now this reason a transfer punch, I actually ground down the tip of this transfer punch so it was a little bit flatter, easier to use, in those countersunk holes. Here I'm also getting the center to center. Edge to edge is the same as center to center. We're marking the other ski here, and then we're gonna move over to the bridge port. Now clamping this up in the bridge port, we are using some cardboard on the edges as to not damage the edge of the skis. Okay, for this mounting plate, we go through the same process using the CA glue in the holes. We screw it down by hand with a posi screwdriver. This is not a Phillips head, it's a posi drive. Now get that screw start in the right spot before putting it on the mounting plate. And then we will adjust that screw to the center of the travel. And here Teo is attaching the brake. And once this is in place, we can grab the boot here and boom, look at that, right on. Fits like a glove. This was actually a great fit, needed a little adjustment. Okay, now the toe pressure adjustment, they give you this little piece of paper that you slip under the toe, snap the boot into place, and then Teo's grabbing the screwdriver and adjusting the screw at the front. This adjusts the toe pressure from underneath. When this piece of paper is just snug and pulls out with a little bit of pressure, that is the right setting. Did the same to the other ski. And voila, we are set, ready to go up on the mountain. Right on. All right, right on folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. We had fun making it. It's always a great day to be in the shop with Teo. Look at those skis, those are awesome. All right, please like and subscribe. Send this out to your buddies, spread the word. Hope you guys are doing great and we'll see you soon. Right on. <laughs>